Hello. So um, let's talk about this. So I posted this video yesterday, which was received uh, really well, where basically it's it's a funny montage where I showcase some um, shortcomings of, rather than shortcomings, like problems, issues, I would even call bugs with not just Molani, but the game in general, the other targeting uh, hitboxes, also the pufferfish mechanic, not working properly, Molani glitching in the overworld, but that's like a secondary issue. My main problem is the auto-targeting of her bites and the burst. Also, I didn't showcase it, but there's also a problem with the, with the homing missiles. Sometimes they don't work at all, like underground, but even in the beast sometimes. That, that's another problem I didn't showcase in the video, but she has. And just to be clear, I love Molani. I love her gameplay. I mean, I made me clear in this comment which I also posted on Reddit, where also this video gained a lot of popularity, but apparently the mods didn't like it because <laughs> it was removed from by the moderators of Genshin Impact, uh, the official subreddit, because, because it's misleading. <laughs> Which is, I mean, rule nine is a very generic rule. They basically remove whatever they want, but there's not like a misleading option. Uh, it was manually written, I guess, by the moderator who removed the post. So this was manual intervention. It's not a bot, I guess. And yeah, it's funny because it's, as you can see, just a compilation of, uh, of gameplay clips. These are game recordings. So... It's funny that they use misleading. It's like they want the community to, to get angry at them. And by the way, this post got insanely popular in like a few hours. People are still commenting on it. And even after the removal, I made posts complaining about it. And also this one was removed by the unofficial subreddit, but they didn't give an explanation. There's not like a top uh, pin comment explaining the reason for the removal. They just removed it, I guess, to avoid drama, but I mean, still fuck you. <laughs> And so let's talk about the video because most people uh, agree that Molani had issues that need to be addressed. I mean, the, the video is proof of that, but I was accused by some of skill issue, not playing Molani properly, but I don't know what these people smoke, honestly. So you know what? Let's see, uh, not just the video, the original clip one by one and explain why it's not really my fault. The last clips, I, I, I'll, get to, I'll get there. You can argue it's like reasonable that Molani misses some hits at the end and that it is intended behavior, but I mean, most of the clips aren't. So let's start from the first one, which was the one with the Y-Op. Okay, this is the, the full clip. Okay, and people said it was like my fault for bad positioning, but... And this is the miss. So, like, you can see, I'm right in front of him, like, he's watching me, I'm watching him, like, <laughs> this is almost romantic, but we are very close, like, I am as close as I can be to the enemy, I'm looking at the enemy, and I start the attack right now, and the, the enemy isn't moving the moment I start the attack, and there are RNG patterns, so I can't foresee exactly what the enemy is going to do. And right when I attack, a bit later, he starts moving. I'm already in my attack animation. And it goes both back and also slightly sideways. And as you can see, Morani doesn't adjust the aim. It goes straight and barely misses. Also, in my experience, attacks like these, like most of the times, Morani still manages to hit the enemy. But this time... As you can see, she failed. I'm not sure exactly how this is coded. I'm not even a, pro a programmer. This sucks. And I don't think this should be intended behavior because this is, I mean, if this is intended behavior, then Molani is the crappiest character in the game because missing an enemy right in front of you, as close to you as it can be, because it slightly moves sideways, not even sideways, like it was a bit back and a bit sideways. This shouldn't be normal. How can it be bad positioning when we were basically, <laughs> we, were, we were basically kissing, like I, I'm right in front of him. You know, even if you want to justify this, let's go to the next clip. So the next one was, yeah, the Drake. Like, the, uh, I also made the sound effect. It really, it, she literally stops. Like, people are saying my positioning was bad, but how? Yeah, it, it's this one. I was testing Yunjin. Yep, and this is the miss. So you can see that the Drake does the attack. 
I get my third skill here. I was also trying to perfect my timing with the bite. This one is really good because I started the attack the very moment I got the stack to save Knight's Soul points because this is how you play here, especially at C0, you don't have that much time to waste. This is another thing people, for some reason, don't want to understand, some people. And yeah, like I'm facing the boss. I, I'm like really, inf I'm looking at him. I got my third stack. The boss is right in front of me. It's big like a house. I start the attack and I fail to hit him because uh, likely the, uh, the hitbox of the tail blocked my attack, which is a known problem with the Drake. And also people were blaming me for attacking the tail, but what should I attack? Like I'm fighting, he does this uh, spinning move and I start attacking right at the end of the move. And the tail happened of being in my way, but I mean, I, I can't afford to reposition myself and circle around the enemy to not hit the tail because, uh, because of how Molani works. And still, this is a problem with the hitbox of the tail. It's, it's still a problem with the game. People is saying, yeah, but you're supposed to, <laughs> to play around that bug. No, I, no, I just want the, the bug to be fixed, the hitbox to be fixed. So yeah, this is definitely not a skill issue. It's a... It's a game issue. So the next one. Oh, this one. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't think I need to justify myself or explain. Like, seriously, what the hell? Where is she going? <laughs> she's likely focusing like a fin, and yeah, she's attacking the void. This one is the original recording. As you can see, I'm on 30 ping. 29 so uh, people also accused me of hitting the ping because that was likely the issue no it wasn't i have good connection and the reason why the ping is cut out is because i play on a widescreen as you can see and i edited the original video in a 16 9 ratio and so i had to cut it out but it's for that reason even then people can tell the um, connection is fine because of the how the damage numbers pop up they pop up immediately, so it's not a connection issue. I don't know why. People are really grasping at straws <laughs> to, to try to protect Hoyo for, I mean, uh, for a faulty game, for a faulty mechanic, uh, there are faulty hitboxes. I mean, most people like agree with me and agree that this is a problem. It, sh it should be addressed, but there are still people, let's say funny. <laughs> and so, I mean, this video is just to make things as clear as possible. Next one. Oh, this one is my favorite. I don't even need to say much because you can clearly see <laughs> this particle uh, tracing my trajectory. And you can see Molani like does an abrupt turn on the right, which is caused by a collision with the boss hitbox, which means that Molani collided with the hitbox, but still the shark missed. I also made a slow-mo video on my second channel, which clearly shows it and there's an explanation. Let's take the original clip. This is the full clip, and yeah, you can see the connection is fine, 44 ping, and you can tell that like the boss is here. Molani already focuses a part of the boss that is more on the right. Maybe she's focusing like a hitbox that is right here because bosses are made of multiple hitboxes. The shark is targeting this part of the body, but this part of the body then is moving up. You can see the, the, the shark is biting through the, the boss. This part of the boss now, it's here. It's not in front of the shark anymore. You can see the shark is looking here, but the, the hitbox is likely like there. And so the shark can't reach it. But still, Molani collided with the box, and you can clearly see it, not only because of the, of the character model, suddenly going to the right, you can see this frame by frame, it abruptly changes position. And you can also see the pyro particle changing direction, like this. Like it's literally traced, so <laughs> and there's nothing here, the arena is flat. This is like undeniable proof <laughs> that Molani collided with the boss and still she couldn't hit it. 
Okay, the, the primal cringe, the primal Jewish. Okay, let's talk about this boss. Uh, I have also other clips of uh, characters, even melee characters, missing like AoE attacks because of the left arm of the boss. As you can see, low ping and consistent ping. This was also my like day one testing. You can see that I have like a level 40 Molani. I was having fun. I have fun like this in this game, among the other stuff. I wasn't technically facing the boss, but again, Molani has an autolog functionality. If you can insist, this is like uh, intended. I think Molani should be able to uh, redirect her attack, like at least at a stage like this, she should be able to correct her trajectory. Instead, the shark goes all the way on the right, where the boss previously was, like here. Like she's targeting here, and trying to, and trying to trace the position of the terrain with the mouse. And yeah, this is exactly where the shark hits. You can say this is kill issue because technically the ti the timing was unfortunate. But still, I don't think a five star should have such a clunky attack. This should hit, honestly. The boss is right in front of her. She should work in a way she should manage to hit the boss. Also, I'm purposely on the side of the boss because I don't want to get hit. And for a character that is punished so heavily for dashing, like positioning yourself so that you aren't in front of where the attack is happening you should you shouldn't be punished for that so i can agree on a certain extent this is bad timing but still i don't think this character should work like that like this is still cringe and the next clip is still worse than this one because the next clip with the prime of Ishap, you will see it's not really my fault L let's take it right now Okay, so this is the original clip, the other one, where I miss. This is this is, this was still day one testing, by the way. Mulani level 40 with the artifacts. Okay, as you can see, I'm like looking at the face of the boss. But then the this is also why it's really stupid that people tell me to aim. Like, what should I aim? I'm aiming at the face of the boss. But when I attack right now, you can see frame to frame how she changes direction, looking at the boss part. <laughs> She's, I, I, I'm looking at the face, but the auto-targeting is looking at the butt of the boss, which again is a problem of these bosses, which have multiple uh, hitboxes. And so the auto-targeting works focusing the closest one, but it's not always the most convenient one. And also the help, the hitboxes themselves are often poorly coded. I showed that with the Colley video. This needs to be fixed. And as you can see, I'm aiming, but the game <laughs> is aiming for me. And is aiming at the bat, and this happens. So no, you can't uh, like aim better with Molani. The game aims for you and it aims like crap. I can't correct this. <laughs> it, I clearly can't. You can see the game taking the decision for me to aim on the right instead of in front of me. 100% not my fault. If I were in front of him, I wouldn't have this issue, but if I were in front of him, I would get hit. <laughs> Let's go on. Ah, this one with the pufferfish. I mean, do I really need to explain this? Like here, you can say I'm, I didn't hit the pufferfish. I was a bit, like one centimeter <laughs> far from it. But the next clip, you can't justify it. Like this one. <laughs> I'm literally glitching through it and still I didn't get it. You can say I shouldn't dash when I'm trying to get the pufferfish, but why? Why shouldn't I? Like I'm low on night soul points. I want to get the pufferfish as soon as possible. Why shouldn't this work? Why shouldn't I get the pufferfish when I'm literally, <laughs> when it's literally eating me? <laughs> How is this kill issue? I don't know. Oh, okay, this one was just a funny bit. <laughs> I'm fine with being at a disadvantage when fighting on a cliff. Like, this is fine. I still hate the pufferfish mechanic. I think it's clunky. I think it's just a bait to make you want to pull for C1 and C2, especially C2, making the pufferfish spawning earlier. I mean, they, they can still <laughs> fall off a cliff. <laughs> so C2 doesn't fix this, but makes the experience in general much more comfortable, which is a crap way of creating a problem and selling a solution. Typical Hoyo. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> This was a funny bit. About this one, I have not much to say. You can see the full clip if you want. 
This is the full clip. I was I was unable to move away from this. I didn't remember if even pressing E didn't work. I think it didn't work because you can see that it's glitching. I think I was trying to press E, it, it wasn't working. Honestly, I don't remember. But it, it, it's really funny, by the way. Yeah, something like this, it would be um, nice for it to be fixed. But I mean, I mean, this is not like the worst issue. So it can even stay in the game. I don't care. Uh, <laughs> this is not my video, by the way. Uh, it's it's really funny. <laughs> okay, this one, I, I can show you the full clip. Yeah, it's this one. But really, I like this. Yeah, I was trying to hit with to hit it with Deya because I didn't want to take an archer. Yeah, you can see the, <laughs> the plunge attacks uh, couldn't hit it. Even this one, why? Why? <laughs> and so yeah, this one hit, and then you can see that she is not aiming. I end up doing charge attacks, and then. <laughs> This was really fun. <laughs> Her normal attacks are really, really cringe. Next one. Yeah, this is the other clip I already showed. Okay, and now we go to these clips that I put at the end. This one, you can argue, is my fault. I mean, it's shitting the attack right now. Like, here, I mean, I'm initiating the attack. And the enemy is, is also moving right now. I didn't see it. And yeah, you can see I shouldn't attack when he's going to attack. But still, the, the window to notice that was really short. Like, look at this. It, it, we basically started attacking at the same time. Which is also why Molani really sucks for this. I mean, yeah, you can say it's it's skill issue. Because I don't have, like, time frame perfect reflexes to notice this. But I can, like, delay the attack because I would consume my natural points. Like, in this case, I'm in Natalan, so it's fine. But outside of Natalan, it, it wouldn't be fine. And still, this really sucks, by the way. You can't do much to prevent this. Like, you should, like, wait for the attack and then attack. But you don't have this much time. Like, a, a C0 Molani can't waste time. You don't have front load on your first attack, like DC1. And you don't have more generous stacks generation and night soul points usage like for the c2 molani you need to attack as soon as possible because otherwise you will miss your damage outside of natalan of course you should be able to comfortably do three bites I i've read comments of people saying like the third bite is like an optional like you you are meant to only hit <laughs> two bites full stacks and the third one is like an optional so if you miss that is like it's how the character is intended to work it's balanced around two bytes if she's meant to be balanced around only two bytes then she sucks <laughs> if that's what you mean but i mean this this is just people when nothing hard and trolling like i shouldn't take that that seriously so the other one is here yeah a similar situation not much to say i start the animation right when the the enemy is moving you can see we are starting. I'm looking at the bo uh, at the enemy, and we are start we are starting the attack exactly at the same time. Like I couldn't foresee that. Like I could expect that, but I didn't have much I could do in a scenario like this. You can say it's a downside this character should have, and it should be intended. Like I, I disagree, but okay, that's a fine argument. But if that's your argument. Then Molani is the worst character in the game. Like, if your argument is that she should be punished so heavily for attacking an enemy so close, I might understand it can happen every now and then, but she should at least slightly correct her direction. The fact that she keeps attacking in a straight line like this, and she, and she has no way to correct herself, I don't like this. But I can accept the criticism that says that this is my fault. Like, I, outside of Natlan, you can't afford to wait for the enemy to finish, to do and finish their attack. But I can accept the criticism on this clip. As well as the other one, which is really similar. This was the same fight, by the way. And again. <laughs> It happened twice in a row. You, you can also see I just saved the previous clip. 
I can accept criticism on these three clips in particular, but only these three. And still, it, I mean, it still sucks. And it's still true gameplay. It's normal gameplay. I don't, it's not misleading at all what I showed. And now the final nuke clip. Yeah, you can see, uh, actually, here I was testing the aiming of the burst because someone said that enemies that aren't marked by Molani aren't targeted by the burst. But then I also made more testing and saw that it wasn't true. Like the burst has an auto-aim system that has nothing to do with the mark. And so I was like uh, looking far from the enemy. Yeah, you can see I'm looking in the opposite direction. But then, you can see later, Mulani changed direction. She's facing the enemy now. So yeah, the aiming of the burst uh, is independent from where you are looking, but it only depends on the enemies that are in range and the auto-aim system. And you can see that the, that, that the enemy is a bit far from me, and it's going to attack me. Like, you can see he's going to do an attack. This is the attack of the enemy and the burst is going where the enemy was at the start of the burst animation and so it's eating the ground and the enemy is in front of me i mean this still sucks because the burst should in many other scenarios the burst does like a very long trajectory and then comes back to the target but in this case it didn't the only true thing about my video being misleading is that you can't see the enemy starting attacking from far away. That's the only point I give to the Genshin Impact Moderator mods, but still this is true gameplay. This is 100% legit. This is what happens when you play her. It happens all the time. <laughs> sometimes it's the ground, sometimes it's the walls or torches. You often fail to hit enemies that are in front of you because uh, the burst hits objects in the world or its walls or just does crap like this. And so, yeah, this was it. I hope I gave more context on the problems Mulani has. I don't think the players deserve this. I'm doing it for me, for the community who deserves to enjoy the character and not experience this. Please talk about it. Don't forget it. I made Molani a meme trying to reach people to raise awareness on these issues. And even if you want to argue that it's fair that she misses stuff like this, I mean, I don't think, but it's your opinion, like a shitty one, but I respect it. <laughs> Kinda. <laughs> Still, you can't defend something like this. This can't be intended. This is not how this, this game, this character is supposed to work. This is a, a big problem, a huge problem. It, it's a still stationary target right in front of me. And I'm blocked by the tail hitbox that happened to, to be shielded in front of me when I'm starting the attack without a way to reposition myself. And still this character doesn't allow you to reposition because of the natural mechanics. This is not fine. This is a very old problem with hitboxes and in general auto-targeting. And for those saying that I shouldn't ask for things to be fixed on a social network because this is what customer support is made for, <laughs> take a look at the replies for Deja bugs and issues in general. Them saying that Deja losing her burst when ending up on pebbles in Overboard is like intended. <laughs> That's the craziest. So no, the Hoivers knows about this. Only making the community talk about it and unfortunately making Molani a meme, it's the only way to make some pressure on Hoyo in order to fix her because she will have a rerun. Also Hoyo is trying really hard to make an impression of being a company that listens to the players. You saw that in the live stream, in the events, they really want to portray themselves like that. And so making the community talk non-stop about this is the only way to make them feel pressure to fix this. And yeah, bye bye.